is it really worth upgrading your MacBook Pro every two years? That's the million dollar question we're exploring today. In the rapidly evolving realm of MacBook Pro upgrades, the leap from an M1 Pro to an M3 Pro can seem tantalizing. But is it a prudent choice? The tech world is abuzz with talk of the latest chipsets and internal components. Yet we're here to ponder a more practical question. Does upgrading every two years truly offer value? We'll be taking a comprehensive look at the M1 Pro and M3 Pro, comparing them from multiple angles. This includes their design and display, performance metrics, benchmark testing, storage speed, and real-world application. Our aim? To provide you with a well-rounded understanding that will help you make an informed decision about whether to upgrade. So, buckle up, tech enthusiasts. Join us as we delve into the details of design, display, performance metrics, benchmark testing, storage speed, and real-world application. First off, let's look at the aesthetics and visual experience. The M3 Pro steps up the game with a suave space black color, giving it a distinct edge over the M1 Pro's classic space gray. But that's not all. The M3 Pro also boasts a marginally brighter display, clocking in at 600 nits, a hundred more than the M1 Pro. This subtle bump in brightness is sure to enhance your visual experience. The design, however, stays true to the MacBook Pro lineage. Both models feature three Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 ports, keeping up with your connectivity needs. But here's a twist. The M3 Pro supports HDMI 2.1, a step up from the M1 Pro's HDMI 2.0. So in terms of design and display, the M3 Pro does bring some fresh elements to the table. But overall, while the M3 Pro offers a slightly brighter display, the overall design remains largely similar to the M1 Pro. Now let's move to the heart of the matter, the chipsets. The M1 Pro, a proficient contender in its own right, features an 8-core CPU and a 14-core GPU, which can be expanded to 16 cores. RAM options for the M1 Pro are either 16 or 32 gigabytes, offering plenty of memory for most users. On the other side of the ring, we have the M3 Pro, which ups the ante with an 11-core CPU that can be expanded to 12 cores. Its 14-core GPU can also be beefed up to 18 cores, but the most groundbreaking feature is the RAM offering, which starts at a whopping 18 gigabytes and can be expanded to 36 gigabytes. That's a whole lot of memory for your multitasking needs. Both the M1 Pro and the M3 Pro offer storage options ranging from 512 gigabytes to an impressive 4 terabytes. This is ample space for all your files, apps, and high-resolution media. Plus, both models maintain a similar configuration with dual NANs for improved SSD speed. So no matter which model you choose, you're guaranteed a fast and efficient storage solution. But how does this all translate to real-world performance? Well, the M3 Pro, with its more powerful CPU and GPU and higher RAM, has an edge. It's designed to handle more intensive tasks and run multiple heavy-duty applications simultaneously. So if you're a power user who frequently uses demanding software or likes to keep lots of tabs open, the M3 Pro could be the better choice for you. However, it's important to note that while the M3 Pro offers higher specs, the difference in everyday performance compared to the M1 Pro might not be as pronounced as you'd think. For instance, if you're mainly using your MacBook Pro for browsing the web, streaming videos, or using light productivity apps, the M1 Pro should serve you just as well. The M3 Pro seems to have an edge with a more powerful CPU and GPU and higher RAM. But remember, it all comes down to your individual needs and how you plan to use your MacBook Pro. So think carefully before making the leap to the M3 Pro. But how do these specifications translate into real-world performance? Let's delve into that, shall we? Now, when it comes to benchmark testing, we have some interesting insights to share. Geekbench, a cross-platform processor benchmark, offers us a peek into the performance of both the M1 and M3 Pro. For the CPU test, there's a clear winner, the M3 Pro. It's exhibited a 30% increase in single-core speed. That's a significant leap, and it's sure to make your tasks snappier. However, when we turn to the multi-core performance, the difference isn't as stark. We're talking about a marginal improvement, something that might not even be noticeable in daily use. Now, let's shift our focus to the GPU. Here, the scores reveal a modest gain for the M3 Pro. It's not a massive leap, but every bit counts, right? Well, not necessarily. The M3 Pro doesn't significantly outpace the M1 Pro, 
which means those extra cores might not translate into a noticeable improvement in graphics performance. But benchmarks are just numbers, right? What about real-world tests? Well, we ran a video export test, exporting a 15-minute H265 video on both the M1 and M3 Pro. The result? A mere 6 seconds difference. Yep, you heard that right. 6 seconds distinguish the M1 Pro, M2 Pro, and M3 Pro in this task. Not quite the leap you'd expect, is it? So what does all this mean? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag, really. Yes, the M3 Pro does offer some improvements. It's faster in single-core CPU tasks, and it's got a slight edge in GPU performance, but these gains are, for the most part, marginal. And in real-world tasks, the M3 Pro doesn't significantly outperform the M1 Pro. It seems that the M3 Pro offers only a marginal improvement in performance compared to the M1 Pro. So if you're considering an upgrade, it's essential to weigh these improvements against the cost. After all, the best technology is the one that offers you the most value. Another important aspect to consider is storage speed. Both the M1 Pro and the M3 Pro offer a range of storage options, from 512GB to a whopping 4TB. However, it's not just about the size of the storage, but the speed at which you can access it. The M3 Pro addresses a bottleneck observed in the M2 Pro series by utilizing a dual NAN configuration, which significantly boosts read and write speeds. In fact, this configuration can offer up to a 20% increase in speed, which is a solid improvement. But here's the kicker. While it sounds impressive, the real-world impact of this speed boost may be less dramatic. Most applications may not fully leverage this enhanced speed, meaning that for everyday tasks, you might not notice a substantial difference. While the M3 Pro offers a faster storage speed, the practical impact may be limited. Let's see how these machines perform in real-world applications. When it comes to everyday tasks such as photo and video editing, both M1 Pro and M3 Pro make the grade. Whether you're refining a high-resolution image in Photoshop or slicing and dicing 4K footage in Final Cut Pro X, these machines don't break a sweat. They handle these tasks with comparable efficiency, showcasing their impressive capabilities. Even when we push the boundaries with more demanding tasks, like editing multiple layers of 4K footage or applying complex filters. The difference in performance between the M1 Pro and the M3 Pro is negligible. This is a testament to the power and efficiency of Apple's silicon, which delivers robust performance across the board. So in the context of real-world use, you'll find that both machines can handle your daily workflow without a hitch. Both M1 Pro and M3 Pro handle tasks like 4K photo editing and video exports with comparable efficiency. So, is it worth upgrading from an M1 Pro to an M3 Pro? Now that's the million dollar question. As we delve into the world of MacBook Pro upgrades, it's essential to consider the law of diminishing returns. Yes, the M3 Pro offers advancements in performance, but the real question is, are these incremental improvements worth the cost of an upgrade? For most users, the answer might be no. The improvements in real-world scenarios are marginal at best. Unless you're a graphics designer or a 3D renderer looking to leverage the enhanced GPU capabilities, 3D caching and potential future ray tracing applications, the M1 Pro should serve you just fine. However, if you're considering an upgrade based solely on potential gaming capabilities, remember that Apple's position in the gaming market is still evolving, so tread lightly. For most users, the incremental improvements may not justify the cost of an upgrade. It's a decision that should align with tangible benefits that significantly enhance your experience. In conclusion, let's summarize our findings. The M3 Pro offers a sleek new design, a brighter display, and enhanced HDMI support. When it comes to performance, the M3 Pro steps up with an 11-core CPU, 14-core GPU, and a groundbreaking 18 GB RAM. However, our benchmark testing and real-world application reviews reveal only marginal improvements over the M1 Pro. While the M3 Pro addresses the storage speed bottleneck, the practical impact might be limited. Yes, the M3 Pro comes with advancements, but the essential question is whether these enhancements justify the cost of an upgrade. For the majority, the answer might be no. The law of diminishing returns applies here. The gains in performance are not substantial enough for an average user. A more prudent approach might be to wait for a future generation where the gains in CPU and GPU power are more pronounced. Remember, 
the best MacBook Pro for you is the one that meets your specific needs and budget.